and welcome to this video today I'm going to be looking at this which is the etheric beam locator uh, that I've made um, so a little bit of uh, a backstory on this the etheric beam locator was a prop used uh, during the fourth doctor's era it was used in the episodes Genesis of the Daleks and later again in the talons of Wang Chiang um, so the Etheric Beam Locator prop was a found prop, it wasn't a custom made prop by the BBC, it was in fact a Klystron valve of some kind. Um, uh, and you can find them still today, but in different colours, you can get grey, I think there's a green sort of colour. Um, but this is the one you want, you want the red one. Now this isn't actually um, the red one, it's a, a custom made one I've made, uh, I also apologise for the fact that the base falls off and everything, it's because this is um, the master copy for my moulds, uh, so I'm making kits of these, uh, these etheric beam locators, but it requires, um, it requires to have a master copy just in case the mould gets destroyed, or when after the, the moulds can reach a certain point when it's too far gone to use again so you have to make new moulds so this one has to come apart so it's all screwed together and everything um, and that's why the base isn't fixed on currently because the base needs to be separate from this bit so I do apologise for the fact that it's going to fall apart as I hold it um, and that's also why these pins at the back aren't done up. Now um, also when I say a ferric beam locator I mean this a ferric beam locator and not these a ferric beam locators <sighs> yeah it's a shame that most people think of Curse of Fatal Death when they think of an etheric beam locator when there's such a nice little prop as this from the classic series, but the master's got boobs. Yeah. Anyway, um, so we'll go back to this etheric beam locator and not those etheric beam locators. I, I don't make those. Um, uh, just, just for those who were thinking about it. But yes, yeah, so here we go. Um... So if I get if I can get the camera to focus in on it, here we go. So the etheric beam locator is completely made out of aluminium, apart from this bit, obviously, which is brass. Um, it's all custom made uh, from scratch. Uh, I'll put I'll put this big bit down. So we'll start off with the little. We'll we'll start off with the base. So also, um, apologies again for the rough paint job, like you'll see in in some places, like here, it's not fully fully painted. As I said, this is the master one, so I've only roughly painted it up for this little video uh, to show you. I haven't actually put the time and effort into paint it properly because the master doesn't have uh, shouldn't have paint on it. So because um, when you get the kit, um, you'll paint it yourselves. Um, but anyway, so here's the base. It's uh, a big disc of aluminium that's uh, been cut out and then turned on the lathe to uh, keep it like that and it's had this and uh, these six holes cut into it and then it's had red on the top and then the the bit on the bottom has uh, just been rubbed off with a bit of sandpaper like that just to uh, because on the actual prop it's silver on one side and it's red on the top bit uh, just, just to keep in keeping with the original prop and then when you go on to this section here so these bits split into different bits so this bit here this whole section here is held together not by this one uh, but on the other side uh, underneath here there are two bolts that are threaded down into um, the main body of this red bit here uh, and then they're hidden underneath this and then this actually connects all the way through into this section here um, and holds that on. Now this section here is held on by these um, either side and that's a little bolt that runs all the way through and it holds this whole bit together and then these here are just um, turned little segments there and they're just currently being held in by pressure yeah and so these bits were just turned and then cut off at the bottom uh, to the correct sizes so they're all there and they're all a bit rough you know they're not in the correct places at the moment because again as I've said I've only just briefly put this together now this is just a bolt that's been a little nut that's been put in here and it's threaded uh, onto that bit there and then uh, you've got uh, this little bit that's going up there uh, all these things are on the actual prop, I just don't understand what they actually do on the actual prop, but they do something, I'm presuming they hold stuff together, and then there's this, which is um, referred to as like the tuning block by people, so uh, it's just a little bit of brass with, uh, with a brass uh, 
bolt in it and uh, yeah so that's basically it for detail oh this is just a bit of sheet alley that was cut out uh, filed round on the edges and then it's just slotted in there nicely so that's uh, that's it I need to add stickers onto it obviously because um, there's bits on the actual prop that say like um, cry Krauss, uh Klystrone valve etc etc um, all over the prop so yeah that's about it really for that um, replica I hope to as I said uh, make some kits of these so uh, do look out for them if you're looking for an etheric beam locator because the real screen accurate etheric beam locator prop that you can get is um, is a bit expensive now because uh, people you know really go mad for them on eBay um, but yeah so Move that light back over there. So yeah, that's it for this review. Um, uh, if you want me to look at some more props around the area, do let me know. If not, I will just upload another video of something I think you may find interesting. Um, as I said, I like I like the look of this prop, so I thought I'd do that next. I mean, I've got a cat badge now in its place over there. That's uh, from the Sixth Doctor comic book, sort of animated episode, real time. Um, just my interpretation of the cat badge. Um, but yeah, so that'll be all for this video. Um, see you next time. Bye.